guys, today I'm going to show you how to make these. What are these? These are actually our very own erasers. Check that out. Mistakes be nothing because we wiped it out with our eraser. Nicely done. So what we're going to need is some silicon, some corn flour, a little bit of paint, a mixing stick, and gloves. The gloves are really important. This gets messy and sticky. And the gloves just save you having to clean yourself up. Now you guys can take as long as you want to make these. For me, I've got three minutes, so let's get it started. Three, two, one, go! All right, first thing, you just grab your bowl of corn flour. You don't have to do anything with it, just leave it in the bowl, and then grab some silicon and squeeze it in. Squeeze as much as you want in. I'm gonna go with that much, because that seems like plenty. All right, then you grab your, your measure, little mixing stick, and you start flipping it around in the corn flour. You can take as long as you want at this corn flour stage and just plot it in there, but I found it easier to so eventually get the hand sticky, just grab hold of it and just bring it in and just start working it around in my hands, making some mess in my hands. It will go everywhere, hence why the gloves, hence why I've even put something down on the table to stop that from happening. And just mixing the corn flour in with the silicon getting it as much in as you can and now what the point you want and we're starting to get there there's heaps on my fingers but we're starting to get there as you want it so it's not a sticky mixture you want it so it's not sticking to yourself you just want it sticking to the corn starch sticking to itself rolling around in a nice ball there we go I think that's in a good stage where it's not too sticky but then I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit corn flour on there it's going to help me out a little later. I'm going to get some paint. I'm using red this time. You can use whatever color you want and you squeeze a bit of paint into the mixture and just get your hands in there and just start mixing around. That's where I put the corn flour on the base there to rub that in there. Ooh, that got messy. I just flipped that everywhere and it's gone everywhere. All right. Roll it around in there. Pick it up. Keep going, roll it around, roll it around, all right. Now you can't just use it straight away immediately. That's the, that's the trick, I didn't tell you that part at the start. I've got three minutes to make it, but it will not be ready in three minutes. It's gonna take a little bit longer. But once you get to this stage, you can kind of just start shaping it any way you want. What you have here is, this is my earlier one, this is me trying to make a tree and I didn't do very well at the shaping. I'm not good at the shaping stage, I'm good at the mixing stage. And it's still quite sticky at the moment, so I'm just gonna mix that up. But within the process. Why I made the pink ones, why I made these red ones, what I'm trying to do is I wanna get, can I do it? Down on the table, it's getting serious. What have I got? 18 seconds to try and make. I wanna try and make a pair of lip ones. I've made, a tree and I made my smiley spit face but can I make a pair of lips look at that get my mixing stick back in there perfect the timer is up that is my silicon lips now like I said I can't use that straight I'm gonna leave that to dry but here's some I made earlier here's the notepad how it works is you just get in there and you start rubbing as you do with a normal razor and it starts to come off. Mistakes be gone and that is a great reminder that when you make mistakes, take the time to learn from them. Learn from your mistakes and take the opportunities that they come with you. For me though, I'm out. See you guys. Damned.